Yo. We're back again, Facebook. Y'all know what the deal is. It is that time of the morning where we wrap our minds around the subject of money. And we talk money in the morning live. Let me just get this shirt over to my timeline. I didn't mean to hit play on that, but nevertheless. How you guys doing this morning? Who do we have chiming in? All right, go ahead and hit the share button, man. Y'all know that's the price of admission. All right, there we go. I got it shared. That reminds me, I need to turn my volume off on my phone. All right, all right. What's going on, William Dustin, my man? Peace and blessings to you, King. And then I think I can go back home from here. Who else do we have? Go ahead and make sure you type in the chat where you're from, the name of the brand that you're building. No links, please, but tell us the name of your brand, a little bit about what you do. And if you're not building a brand or a business, my question to you is, why the heck not, right? Why aren't you? All right, let's bring our YouTube audience in and let's get this thing cracking, man. Part three, we wind up. What's going on, our friendly neighborhood realtor in Miami, Florida? No, I'm thinking about a beach house. It might have to be in Florida. Can you hook me up, Angelic? Can you hook me up? I'm thinking about a beach house. Divine DNA LLC. I like that. I like that. Yeah, because I got some divine DNA in me as well. Down at Hearst uh, D'Amore Catering in Houston, Texas. Peace and blessings to you, brother. Uh, I see Bethany is in the building. I know that is SB Essential Oils uh, and also a financial educator in the building. So let's queue up YouTube. Let's get this party started. to Talking Money in the Morning Live with your main man, H. Cortez, the one and only financial health mentor to the black community, everybody's favorite fatherpreneur, where I do my absolute best to bring practical yet proven wealth building strategies to working men and women all over this great nation of ours. Truly an honor, privilege, and a blessing to be coming to you live and direct from the Black Billionaires Club Studios here in St. Louis, Missouri, home of this year's uh, Generational Wealth Building Conference in Atlanta, GA. 
from uh, April 6th through the 8th. It's a three-day affair, and you can get a pass for all three days for 99 bucks. That is the We Make Black History Month special. So if you want to grab that, uh, go to wealth.joincortezenow.com. Uh, there's also tickets for each individual event, but shoot, for 99 bucks, man, you might as well grab that pass and get out there and uh, check out the whole weekend. Friday night, uh, uh, Millionaire Mix and Mingle. Saturday, you've got the uh, Youth Wealth Building Summit. Saturday evening, you've got uh, From Poverty to Prosperity, William, uh, Women's Empowerment Event. And then Sunday, you've got the uh, Generational Wealth Building Brunch, where you learn all things investing from crypto to real estate to stocks and, and, and bonds and, and all of that good stuff, man. But more importantly, if you want to network with like minds, if you really, really, really want to build wealth, then you have to be around the right people. Uh, and that uh, Evan is bringing in the right people for the Generational Wealth Building Conference. So again, go to wealth.joincortezenow.com. Grab your tickets, weekend pass, 99 bucks. If you're a business owner and you have not decided to market at this event, uh, you can get a, a, a business card size ad, half page ad, a quarter page ad. Man, you want to get your business in front of the people in this event. You want to market, sponsor part of the event. So there's a lot of ways for you to get involved in this groundbreaking history-making event. All the information can be found at wealth.joincortezenow.com. Do me a huge favor. If you're checking this out on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you have not already subscribed to the channel. Uh, and then make sure that you rate the show. Thumbs up, thumbs down, don't matter to me, but make sure you rate the show nonetheless. And then interact with the show. Let me know what part of the world you're tuning in from. And also give me the name of your business and or brand. And I, I'd love to give you a business shout out. And remember... Uh, I can see your comments live and in living color. So go ahead and uh, interact with the show on YouTube. Uh, Future Leaders LLC is in the building. Uh, uh, wealthy Artists is in the building. Mr. Jeff Green, appreciate you. Welcome to the show this morning. Uh, for you guys on Facebook, do the same thing for me. Go ahead and hit the like button if you haven't already liked the Financial Health Mentor page. And make sure you turn on your notifications. Uh, I'm getting more consistent with my uh, midday motivations and my other wealth strategy sessions throughout the day. So you want to be a part of that. Everybody is not a morning person, but uh, some of the things I do in the afternoon might appeal to you uh, as well. Uh, good morning, uh, owner of Top of the Line uh, Cleaning and Landscaping, Charleston, South Carolina, in the building. Inspired by thy word, t-shirt collection, uh, and start up stage. Love it, love it, love it. So appreciate that landscape, Lowry. Uh, but go ahead and hit the share button for me. You guys know the price of admission to today's show is A, a simple share, and B, engagement. Man, if you're going to hang out with us in the morning, engage with the show. Let, it, let me know your thoughts as we go throughout today's content. I would appreciate that. It's always fun or funner for me when you guys engage. I know I can run my mouth for 60 minutes, but I, I love it when I get your feedback as well. So hey, go ahead and hit the share button if you haven't already shared. And then remind me mid-show, uh, sometimes I forget to tell the people who come on a little bit later to hit the share button as well. Uh, but remind me mid-show to make sure that they share and pay their cost of admission uh, as well. Uh, you guys know uh, today's show is also brought to you by the Black Wealth Movement, man. you got to get your money strategy in place and let me ask you a question you've been doing money your way all your life how's that working out for you don't answer that publicly but i'm just saying you've been doing money your way all your life how's that working out for you some of you is working out great some of you guys are where you want to be financially some of you guys are just just doing your thing others may not be where they want to be and you need a new money strategy, but for some reason you've been hesitating to adopt one. Well, adopt the one that we coach here at the Black Wealth Movement. Minimize your taxes, take your tax savings, use that to eliminate your debt, get yourself out of debt, fix your credit, and then that frees up the money you need to start investing. And we teach you how investments work so you can know exactly what to look for and who to sit down with to get the best uh, uh, returns for your money. 
text Black Wolf Movement to 314-874-6887. Somebody put that in the chat for me, please. Text Black Wolf Movement to 314-874-6887. I'd be happy to get you some more information. In fact, if you text me, I'm going to call you. Let's have a quick conversation. Then I'll send you some information and we'll go from there. I think that is more than fair. Who is the show for? Today's show and uh, all shows are for risers and grinders, man. We build this show for people who are trying to build legacies for their family. If that's you, this is your show. If you ain't about that life, this show will probably rub you the wrong way. If you got a problem with money, you one of those people who got stinking thinking and you don't, you don't like the idea of getting super rich, this ain't your show. Because we are future billionaires on this show. And if you don't even like me saying that, then... You're in the wrong place, man. You are in the wrong place. So we continue our study on the millionaire booklet. This little gem right here, right? Becoming wealthy starts in the mind. This is a mindset shifting booklet right here. This will open your eyes to start doing things differently, thinking differently about your money. So this is a powerful, powerful, powerful little piece of information. Uh, and we did, we've done two parts. Go to um, tv.financialhealthmentor if you want to catch past episodes of the show. Or if you're on YouTube, then of course you can go back to yesterday and the day before uh, to get to check out uh, parts one and two. Same with you guys on Facebook. If you go to my timeline from yesterday and the day before, or if you go to my video archives or on the Financial Health Mentor page, you'll see videos part one, part two on the Millionaire Booklet. Now, let's get into uh, the last of, we're going to hit a little bit of all seven chapters. Not much, but just a little bit, some, 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 some little cliff notes, because you guys go follow Grant Cardone, grab this book for yourselves, and study it, right? The Millionaire Decision is chapter number one. It says, those who have created wealth understand that creating financial freedom is a worthy adventure. It, uh, uh, and it is possible for anyone. Remember, more than 80% of all millionaires today are self-made, what's called first generation, meaning they created their millions without inheriting money. Over 80% of all millionaires today are first generation. 20% old money. That means they, they, that money has been in the family for a while. They've been passing that stuff down from generation to generation. But 80% of millionaires today are first generation. That means, uh, what is a generation? Roughly 24 years is, is, is a, a, a generation. 18 to 24 years is a generation. So that means, uh, I don't care if you're dead broke right now, it has been done before, that means you can do it. In the next 18 to 24 years, you can become super rich. How do I know? Because 80% of the people who are rich today did just that. Some of them were blue collar folks, some of them from welfare. If you go to the Generational Wealth Building Conference, you'll meet a young lady who went from welfare to seven figures. So it can be done, right? But what did they say? It says, the first thing that most people did, though, is they decided to be wealthy. They decided to be wealthy. And I teach in my, my, my five critical steps of building wealth, there's two important steps. You have to first define what wealth means to you. For me, what wealth means is the moment my non-wage income surpasses my uh, everyday expenses, I am wealthy. So if I make, uh, uh, if I have three, if it costs me $3,000 a month to live, right? And I'm comfortable on $3,000 a month living and my non-wage income gets to $4,000 per month. That means the money that I have coming in without doing anything for Passive, residual, non-wage income, leveraged income. The moment that leveraged income gets to $4,000 per month, I am wealthy. That is my definition of wealth. Because no matter what I do, my lifestyle is taken care of. The money that's coming in, is, I'm not using that money to 
for, for uh, I'm not I'm not using my labor to generate that money. So whether I roll out of bed or roll over in bed, my bills are still paid because of how I make my money. See, a lot of you guys got 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 being wealthy confused with being rich. Being rich is more about an amount of money. Right. Being wealthy is more about how you make your money. See, I'm starting to get to a place where a lot of my income is coming from non-wage sources. A lot of my income comes from leveraged activities, meaning I built a capture page in a lead generation system one time. And that system is generating me leads, is generating me sales over and over and over again. And I don't have to build the system again. Now, I might go build another system to add another stream to create more passive income, but that's that's what wealth is. And wealth is about how you build or how you make your money. So in my five critical steps to building wealth, you must first define what wealth is to you. You must secondly decide to be wealthy. Nothing happens without a decision, right? Then you have to draw up a plan and then you have to discipline yourself to execute that plan. And then you have to disassociate yourself from those who will not help or support you and achieving or reaching your goals. It says most of us are convinced to settle for basic necessities, clothes, a house, transportation, time off, maybe an upper management position, and some money in the bank. Are you settling today? Are you settling today? Now this is a question that I want you to answer it publicly. Are you settling today? Because there was a couple of times my, my business could have exploded a long time ago. But the reason it didn't is because every time I focus on my business and start getting it off the ground, then I got a raise or a promotion on my job. And then I will find myself settling into the new lifestyle because I made a few extra dollars because I got a, a, a different title on the job. And all that did was interrupted the momentum I had growing in my business. Are you settling today? When you wake up in the morning and you got a roof over your head and you go outside and you got a nice piece of wheels parked in a driveway and you got food in your cupboards, are you settling today and saying, you know what? Life is good. I'm cool. I don't need any more than this. Because if you are, here's another question I have to ask you. If you are, here's the other question I have to ask you. Uh, uh, get good at math. I see you. I appreciate you joining in over there on YouTube. If you are, I uh, see good afternoon from Africa. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, and just for my brothers and sisters abroad, I do have the foundation being laid for Black Wealth Movement International. So you guys want to partner with what we're doing from around the world, then I have a program that we're going to use as the base of that. You guys know my econ powers the Black Wolf Movement in the U.S. I've got another company that we're going to use uh, for the Black Wolf Movement International. So uh, you guys are going to be able to connect with us uh, uh, and we're going to make this a global movement, right? But if you're settling and you're saying, you know what, life is good right now. And I know what most of you think. You think I'm going to ask uh, what happens if you lose your job. I'm not going to ask that because I'm going to assume you're going to go get another job, right? What I'm going to ask is, if you're settling right now, can you say without a shadow of a doubt that your income is going to double in the next 18 to 24 years? Can you say, I'm settled right now, I'm good to go right now. Can you say that your income right now, whatever it is, is it going to double in the next 18 to 24 years? Cortez, what is my income doubling got to do with me being happy, being content right now? Because the cost of living is going to double in the next 18 to 24 years. That's why. That's what we're at. That, the cost of living doubles every 24 to 18, uh, 18 to 24 years. So you cool right now and you're content, meaning you're not grinding, trying to get anything extra. But guess what? Everything in the next 18 to 24 years is going to double. It's going to double. Are you, my friend, 
able to say without a shadow of a doubt, your income is going to double to keep up. So sometimes we get caught up with the right now. Right now, I'm comfortable. Right now, I'm cool. And we're not thinking about tomorrow. We're not thinking about what, what it's going to look like when you have your first child. Are you still going to be comfortable when you add that second child to the mix? Are you still going to be comfortable when that kid goes to college? Are you still going to be comfortable? We've got to start looking for the tomorrow and not just the right now. Since I love to know about the uh, international movement, absolutely, Kathy, jump in my inbox and I will get you the information on, on, on the company that's going to drive our international push to help those of us around the globe build long-term generational wealth. Just jump in the inbox. Appreciate that. Uh, Dinah, Robert, and a couple others have shared the stream. I appreciate that. If you're just jumping on, go ahead and hit the share button. Uh, right now. Uh, and let me stop talking. Let me get through a lot more of these points because uh, I keep getting stuck on one. It says, you are capable of way more than you know. So why set reasonable financial goals? I know this myself. Uh, I, have, I have set limitations and then I've done things way above those limitations. You are capable of more than you know. So why set reasonable financial goals? I'm a billionaire by 2027. There's nothing reasonable about that financial goal, right? <laughs> What's going on, Melanie? I see you over there. Boutique House uh, Enterprises checking in for part three uh, over on YouTube. I appreciate that. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, share the stream from uh, YouTube uh, as well. You're capable way more, guys. Don't settle for a man. I just want to make fifty thousand a year. I just want to make twenty-seven thousand a year. I just want to make eighty thousand a year. I just want to make six figures, man. No, don't limit yourself, man. Shoot for the stars. So if you miss, you land on the moon, and you're still a lot closer to the stars than you were when you started here on Earth, right? A man once told me, how do you make sense of insanity? The answer is, you don't. And not having enough money is insane. The idea that someone would only need enough to be comfortable or adequately satisfied or have more than others as a way to justify his or her condition is ridiculous. And that's how we think. Sometimes we want just enough money so we can have more than our neighbor. Sometimes we want to have just enough to get by. No, man. What do we say that being super rich is for us? It's our battle cry. Because we can't do the things that we do. We can't, excuse me, we cannot be the change we want to see if we have just enough. See, all of us are, are looking out into our community. We're looking out on the horizon and we're saying nothing is going to change. Guess what? If you put yourself in position to change it, then everything changes. I was riding through my old, old neighborhood yesterday uh, and I picked up my uh, mom. I was with my wife and my mom. I was going to my son's senior night uh, basketball game, uh, which he did an outstanding job. This whole season, he's been leading his team of underclassmen, and uh, that's a whole other story. But we were driving through my uh, old neighborhood, and we were just looking at it being run down. And I was saying, don't worry, Mom, because in 10 years, you won't even be able to recognize this place. She said, Why is that? Because I'm going to buy the whole thing up. There's no choice. You won't even recognize this place in 10 years because I'm going to buy the whole thing. I'm just, I said, you know what? The, the, the toughest decision that I'm going to have to make about rebuilding this community is whether or not to call it Thornton Town or Thorntonville. That's the toughest decision I'm going to have to make. I don't have to make any tough decisions about buying it up, what I'm going to put there. The toughest decision that I'm going to have to make is whether or not to call it Thornton Town or Thorntonville. See, you have to put yourself in position to be the change you want to see versus complaining about the things that need to change. Y'all ain't feeling me on that? All right, all right, Thornton Town or Thorntonville, which one would you go with, right? <laughs> see, you got to be able to see it before you can seize it. You got to be able to see it 
before you can. All right, y'all ain't feeling. All right, we just we gonna move on. We gonna move on. All right. The first step to becoming a millionaire is to make a decision, and that requires you lose your middle class mind and then get your millionaire mindset. You must lose your small, defensive, take no uh, risk, uh, uh, take no risk thinking. You must lose your small, defensive, take no risk thinking. It has never been easier to get rich, but it is still impossible if you don't change your mind. It has never been easier to get rich. Today, today, uh, Angela, uh, Angela says Thorntonville. You like Thorntonville? Well, Thorntonville, it might have to be Thorntonville, right? Because, and, and, and really, the name of the town right now is Wellston. Well, why is it Wellston? Because it was named after a man named Mr. Wells who owned the whole thing. So if he could own the whole thing and incorporate the city and call it Wellstown, in other words, Wellston, then I can come back behind them, buy the whole thing, and change the name to Thorntonville, according to Angelic. I appreciate that. We got one vote for Thorntonville. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you got to change your mindset if you're going to uh, get wealthy. It says you don't need to trust yourself at this point. Simply put your trust in someone who has done it. See, a lot of you guys at one of Cortez, are you rich yet? Do you are, are you a, a millionaire yet? Nope. I'm just getting to my business will be a six figure business for the first time in, in, in 2018. So I'm not there yet. So I don't put my trust in me yet. But my mentor, I have two of them who are worth almost a billion dollars collectively. So I put my trust in them. See, you may not be able to put your trust in yourself because you haven't done it. You're saying that you're looking at your past. And I keep telling y'all, when you look at your past, look at your past successes and not your past failures. You look at your past and you see your failures and say, I've never been able to do anything like this. Don't put your trust in you right now. Get yourself a mentor who's done it. If you join the Black Wealth Movement, you will have multiple, multiple, multiple millionaire mentors. And you can put your trust in them until you start executing the game plan and having the success that they coach you to have. Then you can start trusting in yourself. All right, chapter two, millionaire math. Some of us are saying we want to be millionaires and we don't even know what it takes to be a millionaire. So your second step is you have to do the math. Do you know that most people will produce or be in contact with a million dollars in their lifetime? If you earn $50,000 a year for 20 years, you earn $1 million. If you make $10 an hour for more than 30 years, you would have had a million dollars come through your hands. Right? So what does millionaire math look like? Salary, $50,000 a year for 20 years. That's a million dollars. $100,000 salary for 10 years, of course, that's a million dollars. $250,000 salary four years, that's a million dollars. Earn $114 per hour every hour for a year, that's a, a million dollars. 5,000 people buy a $200 product from you, that's a million dollars. 2,000 people buy a $500 product from you, that's a million dollars. 10,000 people buy a $100 product from you, that's a million dollars. 1,000 people buy a $1,000 product from you, uh, that too is a million dollars. 5,000 people pay $17 per month for a product that you have or a service or something that you do, that's uh, for 12 months, that's a million dollars. 2,000 people pay $42 per month, another million dollars. 1,000 people pay $83 a month, million dollars. You guys get the picture. Have you at least done the math? Do you know what it takes? So, so I, if I look at this and I say uh, 5,000 people pay $17 per month. 
I've got a few $17 products. It's like, oh, okay, so if I sell 5,000 of these products every month, I mean, if I, if I sell $5,000 of these $17 products for a year, I can make a million dollars, right? And all I have to do is scale up. Okay, how much money do I have to spend on an ad to sell 100 of these in a day? And then I extrapolate that over the course of the year. It's like, man, that is, have you done the math to get to the number that you want to get to? Have you done the math to get you to the number that you need to get to to determine your definition of wealth. Remember, you have to define what wealth means to you. Have you done the math? Right? Step three, you have to increase income. Right? Since once you've done the math and realize how real it is to get super rich, you need to focus on increasing your income streams. He says, at 25, when I was struggling to make $3,000 a month, he said, I quit whining and acting like a baby about it and committed to increasing it. Now, he didn't say whining, but I'm going to say whining because my wife said I can't cuss on the street. Right. So he said, I was struggling at one point to make $3,000 a month. It wasn't until I quit whining and acting like a baby about it and made a decision and got committed to increasing it that things changed. Are you committed to increasing your income? Or are you committed to whining and crying about it? Are you committed to surrounding your pe uh, yourself with people who will listen to you whine and cry about it? Act like a baby about it. Man, I sure wish I had some money. Go get some then. Man, I sure wish I could take a vacation. I sure wish this. Man, I don't never have enough money. Do something about it other than whine and gripe and complain about it. I was super excited and realized how important increments of surges, increments and surges in income are to uh, validating confidence and possibilities. This is critically important, y'all. This is critically important. He said increments and surges in income validated confidence and opened the eyes to possibilities. Increments and surges of income. Right. And some of you guys are in home based businesses and you got small operations going from your house. It's important that you understand how to push, how to leverage momentum, how to create increments and surges of income, because that is going to validate your confidence and show you the possibilities. Because if you can make a dollar in a day. Creating something of your own, then you can scale up and make $10 in a day. If you can make $10 in a day producing something of your own, providing a product, providing a service, then you can scale up and make $100 in a day. If you can make $100 in a day, then you can scale up and make $1,000 in a day. I've had a few $1,000 days, right? I've had a few uh, $100 days, right? If you can do that, you, that, that gives you confidence. That validates the possibilities that, wait a minute, if I can do it one time, then I can do it 10 times. If I can do it 10 times, I can do it 100 times. Eventually, you get to a place and you get so confident that, you know what? Not only can I do it one time, I can do this every day. I can make $50 from my products, from my service. I can do this every day. $50 a day, right? Add that to your job income. Use that for debt elimination. Use that to start investing. Come on, y'all. Understand the power. So he's talking about momentum here. Understand the importance of increments and surges in income and how it validates confidence and opens your eyes to the possibilities of what could be done if you really focus. Money seems to flow to those 
who give it the most attention and who take the most responsibility for it. Money never found me when I was complaining about it. Somebody got to write that one in the chat for me. That this is mind blowing stuff. Money seems to flow to those who do two things. Who give it the most attention and who take responsibility for it. Money seems to flow to those who give it the most attention and those who are most responsible, take the most responsibility for it. Are you giving money attention today? Or are you listening to some of that middle class thinking that we went over yesterday? The middle class thinking says, stop focusing on money, man. Money can't make you happy. Money's the root of all evil. All of that stuff, all of that junk in your head about money. All of that junk in your head about money. Is that what you got going on? Because you're busy complaining about it? Because you try not to focus on it? It's like we know that not having money is our problem. But instead of focusing on increasing it, we try to ignore it. Just like if someone had cancer or something, if someone had some disease, you try not to focus on it. You try to ignore it and you thinking that it's going to go away because you ignore the problem. No, you have to solve the problem. In order to solve the problem, you have to focus on the problem, get to the root of the problem. Money flows to those who give it the most attention and those who are most responsible for it. I'm trying to be responsible as heck for the money that I am. I'm trying to make sure that I focus. For 10 years, I made a commitment to my family that for 10 years, we're going to focus on money. I'm going to focus on money. They have to focus on everything else. I have to focus on money. Now, some of you guys are saying, Cortez, you might miss a graduation. You might miss a family reunion. You might miss a, 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 a grandchild's first steps focusing on money. And that probably is right. But if you look at 10 years for someone who plans to be on this planet for 140 years, 100 years at the least, 10 years is just 10% of my total lifespan. So 40 years from now, my family is not going to be remembering the 10 years that I took a hiatus from a lot of the family functions to build an empire. That's going to be a small blip in our family's radar. It's like, yeah, from uh, 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 2015 to 2025, dad just went, just lost his mind and went hard and made us super rich. That's going to be a small blip on the radar. Are you giving money any attention today? Or because it can't make you happy, you're not focusing on it. Just saying, you get what you focus on. You get what you focus on. When you commit, you will find a way and it never means you have to be unethical. This is, this is what Grant says. He says, send me company referrals and I will pay you. For every company you refer to me uh, uh, for our uh, online product, Cardone University, I'll pay you $500. So this is talking about Affiliate marketing, because some of you guys are saying, Cortez, I work my job to death, then I work my family. I don't have time to increase my cash flow. I don't have time to increase my income. And every time you say that, you know what the universe says? Yep. And all the universe does is keeps putting in front of you the things that you keep seeing to validate the fact that you don't have time to do anything. Talked to a young lady the other day. My money ain't right. My credit ain't right. And I don't have time to work your program. And you know what she told me about why I don't have time? She said, I don't have time because of my job, because of my business, and because of my social life. 
I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. Your money ain't right. You ain't where you want to be financially. But you don't have time to work a program that's going to get you where you want to be financially. That's going to get your money right. It's going to get your credit right. You don't have time to work this program because of your social life. You ain't you haven't realized that your social life is the reason that your money ain't where you want it to be right now. You might need to curtail your social living so you can take some time to focus on money and get that as an issue out of the way. But that's middle class thinking. Middle class thinking puts pressure on us to make sure we're involved in all of these social aspects. Right. Middle class thinking causes us to believe that uh, we're, we're doing our children an injustice if we tell them uh, they can't play ball this season. Right. We're doing them a social injustice if we're saying we're not going to go to the movies for six months. We're not going to go out to eat for six months because we've got to correct some problems that we have in our household around money. So affiliate marketing is a way that you can make some extra money. You can increase your cash flow. There is no success without sacrifice. You are 100 percent on it uh, uh, number four here's a question you got to ask who's got my money right put that in the chat who's got my money who's got my money black knight says man i hear that bs all the time and it's hard to even keep talking to people like that it is and i would encourage you not to <laughs> if you don't got time to fix your money problems I don't got time to converse with you. Because what you're saying to me is that you would rather socialize. You love your social life more than you love your family. That's what that says to me. And maybe that's harsh. Maybe I'm wrong in my thinking. But that's what I think. When you say that I can't build wealth because of my social life. then that to me says you love your social life more than you love your family. Right. Who's got my money? It says make a list of who has your money, the money you want and figure out what you can exchange with them to get it. See, all the money you ever want is in somebody else's pocket. Do y'all get that? All the money that you want it's already here. It's already been created. It's already on the earth. All the money that you want already exists. It's in somebody else's pocket. You have to figure out how to bring value to these people and bring so much value to them that they're going to exchange the money that they have in their pocket for the value that you're bringing. But if you don't know who has your money, like, I know who has my money. Y'all got my money. Y'all want to build a bigger and a better and more robust business? Y'all better jump on my $47 course where I give you 10 video courses, 9 ebooks, and 2 coaching sessions with me for $47 to help you build your brand. Y'all got my money. So, I've come up with a product to exchange with you for that money. $47, you get 10 courses on online marketing, social media marketing, email marketing, how to build your brand, how to do video marketing, how to uh, place Facebook ads, how to create sales funnels, lead magnets, nine ebooks, and two coaching sessions with me. 47 bucks. You can't beat that. You know you can't. So you know that that course right there, the online marketers video library, that is more valuable to you than the $47 in your bank account. So let's go ahead and exchange. Let's go ahead and exchange that. I'm going to give you all of that for $47 because it's more valuable to you to grow your business right now than the $47 sitting in your PayPal account. So you exchange it to my PayPal account and then I give you all of that plus two coaching sessions with me. You guys are not in the product creation game. 
then you need that course because it'll teach you how to create your own digital products. So now you have something to exchange. But y'all better come on, grab it, man. <laughs> so all the money that you want already exists. It's just in somebody else's pocket. Question is, what can you do for them that is of value to them where you can serve them? so well that they will exchange with you the money in their pocket for the value that you bring, the service that you bring, the product that you're going to bring. You can't beat that. $47. 10 courses, 9 ebooks, 2 coaching sessions. Huh? Yeah, man. I'm trying to help y'all get y'all business all the way right. All right. Uh, let's go to the next chapter. Now, this may, may puzzle some people, but you got to hear us out on this one. Number five is stay broke. Number five is stay broke. Uh, no, if you're already a member of Monetize My Life Academy, I emailed it out to everybody uh, uh, a, a couple weeks ago, but I'll, I'll send another blast out, Black Knight. If you're already in Monetize My Life Academy, you don't buy that. that that's already included in your membership. And some of you guys just want to get in the members and, and monetize my life academy. Hey, and, and matter of fact, I'll do this. If you want to just join monetize my life academy for twenty dollars a month, inbox me. You'll get the academy, which includes all kinds of stuff on branding and marketing, and I'll send you the forty-seven dollar course too. So you can just buy it a la carte, or you can sign up for the membership twenty dollars a month. You get that and then some stuff. Right. But don't play me, man. Don't sign up for twenty dollars and then quit on me and get all the goodies. Uh, but you can become a member of Monetize My Life Academy. Twenty dollars a month. You get everything that's in the academy. Uh, and I will send you that forty dollars, forty seven dollar online marketers uh, video library. Stay broke. When you start increasing your income, stay broke. I said broke, not poor. I have a policy to never, ever have money sitting around. Once I start increasing income, I immediately move the surplus to sacred accounts that were out of my reach and marked for future investments. This is what it means to stay broke. This is what it means to stay broke. That means every time your money starts to increasing, you got to pull some out, put it somewhere that you can't touch it. Or if you already have some things to invest in, take that money and invest it immediately. I stay broke because every time I make a dime, I invest a dime back into my business. I stay broke. I don't right now. My business is still in infant stage, so I don't even have I don't even take salary right now. Every dime that comes through my business goes back into the investment of my business. I stay broke. Pisses my kids off. I stay broke. Dad, I, got, I ain't got it. I ain't got it. You just said you just made it. Yeah, but as soon as I made it, I, I bought some ads. As soon as I made it, I, I bought a book. As soon as I made it, I paid for a conference. As soon as I made it, I stay broke because I'm constantly investing. I'm constantly investing. Right? Yeah, I appreciate that, Black Knight. He says, you will find, you will not find another like this. I paid thousands for BS that we get in Monetize My Life Academy for 20 bucks a month. You're right, man. I, I mean, I'm loading it up with courses almost every week. I've got something new going in there to help you build your business. So $20 a month, you can't beat that. But inbox me, I have to give you a coupon code for you to get it if you want it. Or if you want the uh, $47 course, you don't like monthly fees, monthly commitments, I get it. You just pay $47 one time. That video marketing uh, 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 library, that's enough to get your bid. That, if you went through that, that's enough to keep you busy for this whole the rest of this whole year. If you went through it, studied and implemented just what's in that course, that's enough. Now, what you don't get is you don't get ongoing mentorship from me. You get two, two coaching calls, but people that monetize my life academy, they can call me all the time. They can get in our group and they can inbox and just say, hey, Cortez, what do you think about this? How do you? So you get continuous ongoing coaching 
with the membership, whereas with the one-time fee for the course, it's just, you know, you just get those two coaching, coaching sessions. So stay broke, y'all. Every time you get your, your, your hands on some money, don't let it leave sitting around because it's going to leak out of your pockets, man. You're going to find, you, you'll go broke uh, 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 a McDonald's value meal at a time. Right, you'll go broke one, uh, 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 two or three dollars at a time. You'll go broke uh, uh, five or ten dollars at a time if the money is just sitting there. Every time you get your hands on some money, take it and invest that money back into your business and your brand, or take and put that money somewhere that's out of reach. Sometimes you might have to go over two or three counties to a bank account and set up a bank account over there and put the money in there. And then don't get a checkbook for that account. Don't get a check card for that account. Make it hard for you to put your hands on that money and you won't spend it as, as quickly. All right. That's stay broke. Number six, we talked about this a little bit. Uh, it says save to invest. Don't save to save. <clears throat> Robert Kiyosaki said uh, savers are losers. Right? And a lot of people took offense as if he was calling people who save money losers in life. But what he was saying is savers are losers because of inflation. If you're putting your money in some sort of savings account, if you're saving your money under, your, under the mattress, the rate of inflation is going so rapidly, growing so rapidly that you're literally losing the value of that money if you're saving it. Cardone says, if you're going to save it, save it with the intention to invest it in something that's going to grow faster than the rate of inflation. Save to invest. Don't save just to save. Because if you save it, you're going to lose it. For instance, the bank is giving you less than 1% return on your money. The rule of 72 says you take the interest rate you're getting, you divide the interest rate into 72. Uh, it says, what if I am in my econ? Do I get this too? If you are in my econ, you can join Monetize My Life Academy for $10 per month. And I will still send you everything. I will still send you the, the, uh, the, the, the course bundle. If you're in my econ already, then you can join Monetize My Life Academy for $10 a month. And I will send you the course bundle. So you don't save money just to save. You don't save money just to save. You save money with the intent of investing, right? Investing money is how you will get super rich. The only reason to save money is to one day invest that money. It's the only reason. It's the only reason you should be saving money is so that one day you can invest that money. You're saving money just to save. So the rule of 72, it says you divide 72 by your interest rate, and that will tell you how long it takes your money to double. If you're saving money just to save in a bank account at 1%, I don't care how much money you have. And I know a lot of ladies are doing this, right? Because I talk to a lot of women and they got their stashes and those stashes are in just savings accounts. And they got four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 in those savings accounts at less than 1%. What that means is for your $5,000 to double to $10,000, it'll take 72 years if you got your money just sitting in the bank. If your money is just sitting in a bank, it will take 72 years for that money to double in just a regular bank account. So you have to understand how investments work, who to go and talk to, how to read uh, the, the, the prospectus uh, and things of that nature, because you don't want money just sitting in a bank account. It's, it's, it's serving you no good. It's literally serving you no good, right? So don't save to save save with the intention of investing and if you're building a business the number one uh, investment you can make is in your own business because you get the greatest return from your own business right i pay roughly fifty dollars a month for my business roughly fifty dollars a month for my business i bring two people into my business introducing them what to what i do i make seventy dollars up front so that's more than a hundred, uh, that's almost a hundred percent return, right? Just for that month. And I do this weekly. I bring about five, six people in my business weekly, right? So look at the return that I get for the $50 a month I pay 
for my business and if I bring in 20 people in a month's time, somebody do the math for me real quick. What is $35 times 20? $35 times 20. I don't have a, a calculator up. So $35 times 20. So is that 700 bucks? So every month I spend 50 bucks to run my business to make 700. And that's just upfront cash. I also make uh, long-term residual money as I help these people grow, right? It's leveraged income, right? Because well, my main business is a network marketing business. So $700 a month from $50 a month, right? What is the rate of return on that versus if I put that $50 into uh, a, a CD, a mutual fund, or a money market account, or something like that? So the biggest investment that I can make is in my business to continue to study, to continue to go to seminars, to continue to go to workshops, to continue to grow, to learn, to put my money on, uh, 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 put my money to work for me in my business, to buy advertising, whatever I got to do, that money it, to, to invest in myself, right? That is the, that's where you get your greatest return. Some people don't have cash flow right and they're trying to invest in cryptocurrency. They're trying to invest in all these other things, but they have limited cash flow. Meaning, the minute you lose your job, God forbid, I don't want that to happen to anybody, but because your cash flow isn't right, you lose your job, then you got to snatch that money out of those investments to maintain your lifestyle. Get yourself out of debt. Fix your credit. Get some passive income. Instead of Focusing on those investments first. And then once you got those investments, uh, that passive income, you got your debt down and now your passive income can cover the cost of your lifestyle. Now you can start taking that cash flow and start parking it in places where you can do some investments and things of that nature. Does that make sense? Is everybody tracking with that? Cash flow is extremely important. It's extremely important. Right? And those 20 people that I bring on my team every month, that's my own production. Guess what? I have leveraged income. That means I also get paid for the production of my entire team. I put 20 people on myself personally. That's my personal production. But then I also get leveraged income from helping my team be productive. And I pay $50 a month for that. Right? Even if you add in the cost of a book or a course or a seminar, I'm still all good in terms of the amount of income that I have versus the amount of investment that I make into my business each and every month. So that should be your primary investment. Grow your business to where your business is kicking off enough cash flow to cover your lifestyle and surplus. Now you take the surplus and if you want to invest in some other things, you can. But if your primary investment is not covering your full lifestyle, if your business income is not covering your full lifestyle, you only should be investing in that. You should only be investing in that. Right? Invest in your business until it gets to a place where the cash flow is covering your lifestyle and then you can take any surplus and invest because that's what wealthy people do. They buy and invest in assets. The assets create a surplus and then they take the surplus and they buy more assets. You best believe that when my business gets to the place that I want it, about 20 grand a month, I'm going to have 10 grand a month to go buy my whole neighborhood. And I'm going to change the name to Thorntonville because Angel, uh, uh, Angelic says she likes Thorntonville. Right? So, uh, poor people try to replace flows of money while rich people are trying to supplement or add flows. Creating multiple flows of income is the holy grail of creating financial freedom and true wealth. Creating multiple flows. So I want you to understand, he said, he said, poor people try to replace flows. That means I've got this job over here. It's not paying me what I want. So I want to jump over here and make this job. So you've replaced one income with another income. 
That's what poor, that's poor middle class thinking. I want to replace one income with another income. I want to replace this $50,000 income with a $75,000 income. And he's saying, no, wealthy people are saying, I got a $50,000 income. How can I supplement it with $25,000 a year to add to the 50? I keep this one and I just add to it. That's the difference. Are you looking to add to it? So does it make sense to have a business that gives you income of about $10,000 uh, in U.S. dollars a year? It absolutely does. Anytime you have a business creating passive income, it absolutely makes sense. Because you, if, if you can make $10,000 in one year, then you can make, you can scale up whatever you did to make $10,000 in that one year, do 10 times the effort and make $100,000 U.S. in one year. Does that make sense? So whatever you're doing, you can always scale. Whatever you're doing to make money, you can scale. Right? So a couple quick announcements and then we're out of here, guys. Remember, Generational Wealth Building Conference in Atlanta, April uh, 6th through the 8th. Go to wealth.joincortezenow.com. Tomorrow, if you have not already went and liked our new page, Hustle in Love, my wife and I have a radio show here on KOVLradio.com where we talk about all things life, the process that we're going through to become this St. Louis power couple, right? So if you want to tune into that, um, be sure to go and like uh, Hustle in Love on all social medias, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, Hustle in, I in love. Uh, and we go live from 12 noon to 2 Central Standard Time. And then if you're serious about the Black Wealth Movement or Black Wealth Movement International, get in my inbox. Let me get you some information on that. Super, super excited about the international component. Uh, I found a company that pretty much mirrors a lot of what my econ does uh, but you guys know that my econ is only a stateside company. So I, I had too many people coming to me saying, hey, man, uh, I'm in Canada. Uh, I'm in the UK. I'm in Africa. How can we join your movement? And I was turning too many people away. So I had to find an outlet that will work for our brothers and sisters all around the world. And I got it. So uh, just give me a couple of days to figure out how I'm going to roll it out and map it out. But if you're interested, just get in my inbox. I can send you some information now. But I, it'll probably be a public launch of Black Wealth Movement International in a couple of weeks or so as I get some things together in the background. But I'm super excited about the ability to be able to partner with my brothers and sisters all over the world. Because I'm telling you, Black Wealth Movement, we are Wakanda. So... I'm Ace Cortez, the one and only financial help mentor to the black community, everybody's favorite fatherpreneur. Until I talk to you next time, once you get your money up, because you absolutely can do it, but more importantly, you deserve to do it, each and every one of you. Peace out, y'all.